Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new issue of White Dwarf Magazine. Now, as per usual with all these videos, if you like them, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop a comment down below. I love hearing about for you guys, it goes a massive way to help the channel too. And without further ado, let's crack on. So, as per usual with White Dwarf, it is our monthly roundup of Warhammer goodness. Uh, whether you are into your 40k, your Age of Sigmar, if you just want to see a bit of blood, bit of Warhammer Underworlds, uh, the occasional bit of Blood Bowl, the occasional bit of Lord of the Rings battle games in Middle Earth. Really, really good stuff. Really cool stuff as well to look forward to. And let's crack into the issue itself. So, of course, this magazine I do very, very differently. So, we start off in the contact section of the magazine, which is where people have sent in their thoughts, questions, and painted minis to the White Dwarf team. And we have some really cool ones. So we have an awesome diorama over here of some uh, Space Marines. Uh, really, really cool. I like it. It looks very, very grimy, very, very rough. Very, very cool as well. Um, a very, very nice, nice kind of way of doing things. I like, I like a diorama every now and again especially one that looks very artistic and very nicely crafted and kind of pieced together so really really good stuff there uh, we have a, an awesome awesome tank um i like it i really really like it it's uh in the iron fist scheme it's which isn't my favorite but it looks cool it looks really really nice it looks like it has really gone through the the kind of mill as well it is very very kind of rusted pitted uh, a lot of patina to the paintwork which is a very very nice trick if you are able to do it really cool stuff i really really like that guy the this painting it is pretty damn cool on the other page though we have an awesome iron jaws mega boss as well there we have an awesome lady alinda as well which we received only a few issues ago of mortal realms magazine and we have some pretty cool other bits and pieces like a great captain general uh, just up here and we have a, an air man arch sorcerer of a thousand suns and we have some pretty cool space marines and of course a good old uh, griff charger as well for the stormcast eternals really really good stuff i do really really like it uh, i do like the lady alinda um it's no, pretty good it's a pretty decent one all in white and the handmaidens look very unique and very kind of like they're separate and not part of the same model and they look like they've kind of been blended together i like the use of the foliage and the kind of the base covering that has been done and the tombstone as well which has not escaped my attention it looks really really good very nice way of doing it which I do quite like. Uh, then we have a pretty, pretty cool Adeptus Custodes army just on here as well. Very, very nice. A lot of gold in this army colour scheme, isn't there as well? It's quite um, bright and shiny, which is really, really good. Um, really like it. It's a pretty cool one. It's a nice army. It's one of the kind of Space Marine chapters that I personally I do kind of like. Um, I like the look of them. They look a bit more kind of ornate. Um, which is sometimes really really cool stuff on these guys into the 41st millennium we have a tale of four warlords so space marines necrons sisters of battle and orcs all kind of competing so we have the sons of medusa which is one of the coolest in my opinion uh color schemes for space marines and one that i do actually really really like um including a good old tank which is always really really nice uh, as well as some other bits and pieces but really really good um for bright bright vibrant green that they utilize as well for good old the sons of medusa is a pretty cool one um yeah so a bit of inspiration if you're going to be getting good old imperium magazine there's a way of doing that as well which is pretty cool your necrons so we have got the fucked dynasty uh, which are very kind of unusually colored so they have a very different kind of like color scheme uh, very blue instead of going for the tesseract green or anything like that which is um very nice i do quite like having a blue instead of green with a lot of these cold guys uh lots of units being used as well for them which is really really good stuff uh, and uh, definitely a, a more of a cooler bits and pieces as well 
Then we have the Order of the Argent Shroud as well, which is one of the other colour schemes that you can go for with the Sisters of Battle. Um, I do like them. They look pretty cool. There has been some tinkering around with some of the conversion as well, which is a Celestine, um, which is really, really good. I really like it. It's kind of adding the flames to the weaponry and her head and some of her armor as well. Uh, makes her look more kind of kind of powerful in her kind of angelicness as well, which is really, really good stuff. And I really do like it as well. And then we have orcs. Plenty of plenty of orcs. Um, never anything wrong with orcs. They kind of have always been around. Um, very mechanized orcs as well, because we're in the 41st millennium. Um, but yeah, they look good. Pretty decent. Really, really nice. Uh, the full armies look really, really cool though. So you have an awesome Sons of Medusa. You have an awesome Necron army, which looks really, really nice. And I do, do like that color scheme. And then you have your Sisters of Battle, which look pretty cool as well. And the Goths as well from the or Orcs, uh, with a lot of grots dotted around, of course, because they are kind of like fodder for the Orcs. Um, but they also have some of the good old walkers that they use, which is really, really good stuff. Um, it's always nice to see these photos as well. I do really, really like seeing these kind of big army photos every now and then. They look really, really cool. Moving back into the Mortal Realms in the Age of Sigma, we have a look at the Cities of Sigma factions as well. Um, really, really good stuff. I do like the Cities of Sigma because you have a multiple options of kind of blending them with free guild soldiers, uh, iron breakers, uh, good old dwarves, the Ironwell Arsenal, everything like that. Uh, and you can you kind of combine them with some Stormcast Eternals in some small parts as well because, of course, it's the Cities of Sigma. The Cities of Sigma are inhabited by quite a lot of different races from humans, elves and dwarves, as well as some Stormcast Eternals uh, do kind of linger around. So you have the colours of the great cities listed as well. So you have from Anvil Guard, which have a very kind of a darker look to them uh, and have a very unique look. You have the Living City, of course, being very, very green in their kind of colour schemes. You have the Thenenicum, which of course have that kind of blazing uh, kind of phoenix rising from the ashes and very elven kind of inspired colors you have gray water fastness which is another one that's kind of a little bit dark in places as well because gray water fastness is a little bit of a darker city uh, with a very kind of engaging undertones behind it hammerhall as well which is of course spread into two realms hammerhall gyron and hammerhall akshi and then you have the tempest eye uh, pretty cool as well um, which is one that I've not don't know much about in all honesty. Uh, so pretty much all the others I've read snippets of the kind of the law and the history and the everything of that about them. Apart from Temper Sight, it's one of the few ones that I don't know much about. Of course, with these good old Cities of Sigma, you can use the steam tanks. Which the steam tanks of course very unique, very, very oldy worldy um kind of versions of tanks um so of course they are from warhammer fantasy game originally uh, but of course been brought into the age of sigma because they're still dotted around um and pretty cool they're pretty unique uh, you would generally paint them up very very silvery um which yeah you're going to use a lot of iron breaker on them but really really good stuff uh and then you have the different ways of doing your free guilds and everything like that, whether you're using them with cloaks or anything like that, or if you're using Wild World Rangers, uh, Wild Riders, pretty much anything and everything. There are people who have converted steam tanks as well to make them into walkers, uh, which is very, very different. Um, and then a lot of other bits and pieces. So you do have Lord Ordinators as well that do will appear in the Cities of Sigmar ranges, and you have some really, really good stuff. So you also have a pretty cool board here there to show off an entire range that somebody has painted um which is really really good stuff i do like it it looks pretty cool with a couple of realm gates as well dotted on there and a, a good use of the statues as well which is pretty cool i do like that use of the statues it's a very good idea 
uh, if you've still got some of your scenery from Mortal Realms magazine or anything like that um, you can make them look really really good uh, it's actually giving me some ideas I'm not gonna lie but really good stuff uh, always fascinating to have a look through all of that and have a look through all these cool photos as well uh, of all these awesome awesome units that have been kind of um, utilized and brought about um, as well as things like that as well which is always really really good I'm not gonna lie I love seeing photos like this they look fantastic they look unique they look really really cool and you can tell some of the effort people have gone into to make these as well uh, some people put in obviously absolutely rock loads of time uh, to make all these kind of dioramas and everything like that stand out and make them look really really cool um, really really good stuff really really impressed with a lot of everything that's going on here um, really 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 good stuff uh, can't say anything more positive about it I don't think in this issue as well we have a section about Blood Bowl not very often it happens but there are some new updated rules to kind of to do with a refereeing uh, and the fact that you can get referees which I must admit I do have uh, and I do like and they were pretty cool um, so there are added additional rules uh, regarding the referees and how red cards work and everything like that uh, and how to move a referee uh, for your games of Blood Bowl if you are playing Blood Bowl um, and you know the sending off of players as well over a couple of pages pretty decent stuff um, you do get a couple of cards as well in this issue which is for your referees um, but so yeah keep those safe if you're going to be playing Blood Bowl if not if you know somebody who's playing Blood Bowl uh, you can always get them give them that which is always good stuff and then that brings us to pretty much the end of the issue so lots of really really good stuff in there I have skipped over a lot of it because of course there is a lot more to find out and the video will go on forever if, you, if I don't but the next issue of White Dwarf magazine is on sale on the 20th of August literally days before five days before uh, the last issue of Mortal Realms magazine and the first issue of Warhammer Imperium goes on its general release really really good stuff um, pretty cool so I do like White Dwarf um, I do love hearing people's opinion as well so if you have opinions on the current issue of White Dwarf or if you any of the bits and pieces that have been mentioned drop them in down below um, but yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you soon bye bye now